is going on with you guys the Cali effect king of games here and today we are going to be building rocket dragon link in under $100 now I have to give you some credit you guys did post on the comment section of our last video the most competitive budget decks for September quite a bit so it kind of prompted me to make this rocket dragon link deck profile because uh yeah the, the forbidden list still isn't out regardless it's gonna be really fun to show you a rocket dragon link at that hundred dollar price tag and i gotta give it to you even myself after seeing a lot of doubt in the comment section was wondering how am i gonna make this under 100 but you know we big brain jane i actually even made a list of some of the cards that were quite expensive. If you do go the Hakla Fibrix route, you're still in a pretty budget range, but I think you're going to need more around that $200 or $150 price range. We're going to make Rocket Dragon Link in that $100 price tag though. So of course, if you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to destroy that subscribe button. But also let us know down below in the comment section, which strategy should we make under $100 next? Without further ado, let's jump on to TCG Player. And if you guys ever purchase anything from TCG Player, make sure you use my link. It is down below in the comment section, as well as the description. Seriously, use that TCG Player link. It helps, helps you boy out. So one thing I do want to point out is that a lot of players just completely forgot how to play Rocket Dragon Link if you're not playing the Hakla Fibrix engine. We're going to go ahead and start off by talking or typing in the Rocket Strategy. Oh, that was Rocket. Okay, we'll go, go to Rocket Strategy. Why, why is it? I put more to me case. All right, there we go. <laughs> and quite the few cards are going to pop up. I'm gonna go ahead and buy three copies of Rocket Tracer. I'm gonna need more than one copy. So yeah, we're gonna go from Super Special Awesome, really good place to go to. Um, and then I'm gonna need Silver Rocket Dragon. I'm gonna need two copies of those. And the reason why I'm going this route of Rocket, which you guys don't necessarily know yet, is the rocket strategy can be played in a myriad of ways. You can play that Hakla Fibrix route, which does give you a little bit more immunity to hand traps, or you could just play what made rocket good in the first place and just play rocket combo that ends on, ends on a Borload Savage Dragon, a, uh, a, a chain abomination, as well as some disruptions with hand traps and possibly a heretic seal. That's still a really consistent version of rockets that you could play, and it's too strong as well as well as cheap we love cheap so three copies of apps router dragon i'm gonna need more copies of rocket recharger i'm gonna need about two copies of that bad puppy and that's going to put us at our 10 card rocket engine from there we are going to need cards like quick launch i'm gonna need three copies of quick launch we're gonna go ahead and pick up from super super special awesome and then I'm going to need that Boot Sector Launch. That is a 20 cents card. We're going to pick those up too. I'm going to need two copies of that. Now, another card I am going to need that isn't necessarily a Rocket card, but is still really cheap and helps with the deck is Knock Division. If I can ever spell this card's name right, it's I know it's N-O-C-T. Is it Knock Do? Yep, Knock. Toe Vision Dragon. This card made his debut in the Eternity Code set and has definitely helped the Rocket strategy, like seriously, by a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and go get from Top Card Inc. We're gonna grab three copies of those. And of course, we are going to still be playing the Black Metal Dragon engine. I'm gonna need three copies of Black Metal Dragon. Oh man, that's that's a pretty ridiculous price. And Red Eyes B Dragon, or sorry, Red Eyes Flare. Metal, Flare Metal, the, the, the 2800 attack guy. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon is the card that I'm looking for, but went ahead and typed in Red Eyes, and yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of things. I could get an ultra rare damage copy of Darkness Metal. I'm just gonna go ahead and, wait, I did type in Red Eyes Darkness Metal. How come it's not popping up? This is, oh man, this is weird. It's really making me work to get that Red Eyes. I can get an ultra rare at $8, but you know, we're gonna stick to the really, really budget one. Where's the common new version of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon? I know that one, that one, you know, is a pretty decent price. So the new erratum of the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon sits at about a dollar. We're gonna go ahead and pick up a copy of that. 
and immediately I have to think of some more cards that we run in the run in this deck. We already have our starter engine. I think a lot of the cards that we are going to need, we're currently at $14 for about 22 cards. They're going to be from the 2020 Mega Tens of Lost Memories. So the 2020 Mega Tens of Lost Memories did help this deck a lot. So many cards got reprinted, one of them being Borlode Savage Dragon, which uh, did drop all the way down from an $80 card to a $12 card. That is gonna be huge for us. Star Leech Safer, if I remember correctly, was in the 20s to 40s range. This is about $4 per, per Star Leech Safer. We're gonna go ahead and get three copies of that, and it's moving on ups up to the $40 range, but I think that this is some of the more expensive cards we are going to get. World Legacy Guard Dragon. We're gonna need two copies of this card i'm gonna go ahead and get them from rocky mountain tcg we only need two copies of world legacy guard dragon but we will need the guard dragon lp guard dragon pisty as well as the striker dragon and i'm gonna go ahead and blink out i'm gonna get secret rare copies of both of these guys from the 2020 megatons and then i am going to get the striker dragons obviously as secret rare as well Ironically enough, the ultra rare copy of Striker Dragon is more expensive than the secret. So not only do we get a blinged out version, we, we get it for cheaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these three from Rocky Mountain. Keep in mind, when you are playing this particular Dragoonity engine, you're gonna need three copies of Striker Dragon as you're gonna go through two in one turn. I'm gonna go ahead and buy Dragoonity Light Romulus. I'm also gonna need an Unchained Abomination and an Omni Dragon Brotar. Thank you so much for lining that up for me, TCG player. So there's the Abomination, uh, Omni Dragon Rotar. We don't have it, but uh, from a current seller, but I trust real good deal. Well, we've bought from them quite a few times. And of course, we're going to buy that last card, which is gonna be Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Another card I am going to need is that Heretic Seal. Nonstop has it at $6, but look, I can buy from any of these sellers since it does reach over that $5 price range. I'm not trying to play $6.48 when I can go to a trusted seller at $6.40. Huh, and it won't be with the same package. Okay, whatever, Nonstop, you win this time. We're gonna go ahead and pick you up. And it feels like I'm kind of blazing through this and splurging, but I'm still at $60, so I'm in a really good spot. We are going to need Triple Burst Dragon for our deck. That's 39 cents. And we are also going to need a Chaos Dragon Levayanir. So that card's gonna be really important to us. The cheapest copy is $5. Man, this card is actually bumping right back up. I think this is a card that you should definitely pick up before it does go back up. The alternate arts look really nice. I would definitely consider picking up a Chaos Dragon Levayanir before it's too late. This is a really good card and it's a really cool looking. Now, one of the more expensive things for the Rocket Dragon Link strategy is hand traps. Very fortunate for us that hand traps can be relatively cheap, especially in the current meta that we're playing in. I'm gonna go back to the 2020 Megaton I'm going to need to pick up two copies of Thanos, which sit at $4. Uh, I'm not filling that price. I'm going to go ahead and get them. What, what is this? Eight? Eight? Uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? We're going to go ahead and get those two copies for about $8.80. And then I am going to turn around. I know I need Effect Veiler. So the Biru is almost out of the question. Not only is it eh, against certain strategies, uh, it's a little expensive, so the cheapest effect veiler still are about the dollar range. It's just what type of effect veiler do we want? I really don't think it matters, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Structure Deck Power Code effect veilers. Uh, no current sellers that we have, but it's time for the glow up, because we're going to pick up those three from glow up. This seller only has zero of these. Did they, damn, they sold that fast? It's like somebody's already sniping me. All right, fresh cards. Don't really, you know, he has 15 cells total, but I mean, it's an effect veiler. He really can't mess that one up. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up from him. And we're also going to need those side frame gear gammas. Really happy that these cards came inside of the Toon Chaos set. Uh, that's going to be about 145 for three each. And the seller has zero of these available. Like, hold on. Do, do we have these in our cart? Okay, so we don't have the Cypher and Gear Gammas, which is weird. We'll just go ahead and pick up three copies from someone else. Let's go to Card Coliseum. They have a decent amount of, wait, I think I went from them before. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go ahead and find somebody else, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and find somebody else. So, uh, scrolling down, 
Zeke's. Okay, well, well, we'll trust this guy. It actually seems relatively cheap. We'll pick up three of those. And we do need a driver. Please have a driver, Zeke's. He does have the driver at 10 cents. He's too strong. Now we just need some finishing touches type cards. I need a one for one for this particular deck. Uh, I know one for ones come common, so it shouldn't be. I typed in one for one and it gave me one for all. What is this, All Might? Come on now. I need the cheap one for ones, my man, the cheap one for ones. So I think we click on this and then view all versions. Bam, we got all the one for ones for days. So that one may have the best price. Please be from a current seller. Pro Play Games has one at 66 cents. We'll go ahead and pick that up. We do need a Monster Reborn and a Dragon's Ravine. So I'm going to type in Monster Reborn, go to the cheapest Monster Reborn, and no one has this Monster Reborn. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go to another Monster Reborn. And you have one copy of Monster Reborn. That is fine. Dragon's Ravine. Is it Dragon's Ravine or is it Dragon's Ravine? It's Dragon Ravine. I've been calling it Dragon's Ravine like my entire life. Um, I want to get the secret rares, but I think I can get this super rare right here for a pretty decent price. Nope, nobody has it. Let's try this super rare. Does anybody have it? Nope, nobody has it. I want to prioritize it because it is a card. Super Special Awesome has it for a dollar. Whatever, we'll pick that one up. And we are going to need Chaos Space. Chaos Space does come in two rarities. You can get it... Oh, that's expensive. Come on now. I'm only going to need two copies of Chaos Space. Come on, only give me two. We, we kind of pushing it. We had that 86.68. That didn't get added to the cart. That's really weird that that's happening right now. Um, we only need two. That's weird. That's so weird. I don't know why that's happening. But um, we'll go ahead. We got to buy a more expensive one. At $5 each, we're going to buy those two Chaos Spaces. We are at $96.00. We're pushing it. Will it be under $100? Will it be a little bit above? Because it's going to be under $100, as you guys can see. We have 53 cards in our cart, and we're pretty much done with the entire deck. We are going to need some small things like uh, we can use Red Dragon Archfiend or the Tenye Synchro Monster as the additional Synchro Monster. <laughs> Draco Berserkers of the Tenye Prismatic Synchro for a dollar. Why are you kidding me? It said a lot cheaper we're also going to need what's that card's name uh triple burst dragon triple b because it's cheap it's good it gets us to exactly what we need and it's 20 39 cents okay we're gonna go ahead and get it for 39 cents we also need this is like the most hype version of this particular uh you know under 100 because we're like rubbing against it it's super special awesome does have it for two dollars so if we buy this we'll be over our hundred dollar allotment but not by a lot we would be still pretty cheap i mean compared for a rocket deck ah oh, man man this is this is not good i'm gonna go ahead and pick it up unfortunately we're gonna get at that a hundred dollars and 34 cents i'm sorry ma we couldn't do it man we got to $100.34. Oh, where will we find that 34 cents? Actually, it's gonna be more because I still need to pick up some other cards. I still need three more cards for my extra deck. One is going to be Psy Frame Lord. Psy Frame Lord Lambda. I'm going to need a Psy Frame Lord Lambda. It is a relatively expensive card. It is about five, six dollars. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up one copy, putting this at 106, and then the rest of the cards are cheap. I am going to need a Dillinger's Dragon for 10 cents, and then I'm also going to need the Quad Barrel Dragon, which I have to type in, Quad B? Quad Barrel Dragon, and that is going to bring us to a lump sum of $106.33, 113 with shipping, but of course, we still got to that $100 price tag for an entire Rocket deck. Let me show you what it looks like on a online simulator. Okay, guys, so this is basically what the Rocket Dragon Link deck that I was building will look like at about $100. So this is pretty cool. You're gonna run the one copy of Driver, the one Red Eyes Darkness Metal, Chaos Dragon Levineer, two Fantastical Dragon Phantasmates, triple Absorbator Dragon. This is really important for a budget strategy because Absorbator Dragon plus any Rocket Monster in your deck is still 
Steel Fool combo, three copies of Nocto, two copies of Silver Rocket, one Black Dragon, three Safer, one White Dragon, three copies of Rocket Tracer, two Rocket Rechargers, another really good underrated card in this deck, three Gamma, three Black Metal, three Valor, one One for One, one Reborn, two Chaos Space, three Quick Launch, two World Legacy Guard Dragon, two Boot Sector Launch, one Dragon Ravine, on to the extra deck, one Borload Savage, one Scarlight Red, or your Tenye, whichever one you want to play, whichever one is cheaper or whatever is closer to your budget. Uh, one Unchained Abomination, one Boral, Boral Load, not Boral Sword, but if you guys have it, play that Boral Load, Boral Sword. One Triple Burst, one Cyframe Lord Lambda, which could be Tour Guide, or your Guard Dragon Monster, the Link to Guard Dragon Monster, which is relatively cheaper. That would actually bring us to the 100 range. Um, Quad Dillinger is Dragon, uh, Dragoon in the Night Romulus, uh, Quad Burrow Dragon, the Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spheres, Guard Dragon Pisty, Three Striker Dragon, and Guard Dragon LP. Now, for the players that want to see more of this, I will be doing some test hands to show you guys what it is on my Patreon. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, if you aren't a Patreon subscriber, this will be released in two days for everyone to see. That's right, Patreons will see it early. Everyone will be able to see it later two days after this video is launched. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been really fun, really easy, and really strong to be getting you guys a rocket strategy in under $100. If you guys wanna check out more videos, then check out those videos that I listed, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day, and stay safe, everyone.